One, two. Unauthorized audio biography of Weird Al. Acknowledgements. All the gents who make life worth living in this hollow accomplishment. Dedicated to the decimated childhoods made renovated. October 23rd, 1959, born the best-selling recording humorist of all times. To first-generation Americans who'd already got the hang of it. Alfred Matthew Yankovic. Linwood High School valedictorian, recorded in the bathroom and played accordion. Under the humor rubric, Dr. Demento debuted at AKA Barry Hansen, who knew a thing or two about music. He liked to write poems to Spike Jones. He pressed up his own records and then biked home. Trained in architecture, hired same directors, replicated sets for videos, often his were better. On the daily, Hawaiian shirts and vans. On stage, fat suits and monster band hurt the fans. Killed them. World tours filled with children. A symbol of freedom like Zildjian and Sabians, which his drummer uses, loses glasses with laser and pseudo karatamil uses. He canceled interviews, but still rolled through when his folks died from no O2 and a closed flu. I bought his tapes the days they came out. He stays humble with fame and never claims clout. Satire can fall flat like a flat tire, but false seriousness can also backfire. It's an act of balance that many talents lack. Check his originals like half his album tracks. With no curses, this verse has come to an end. Back in the day, I was a close personal friend. Appendix. Discography. Weird Al Yankovic, Weird Al in 3D. Dare to be stupid. Poker party. Even worse. UHF. Off the deep end. Bad hair day. Running with scissors. And poodle hat. He lives with his wife and daughter where his cockatiel and poodle's at. We're through with that. Next audio biography. Buckminster Fuller. Peace. Weird Owl here. Howl at the moon. Moth Owl pellets. Shown soon.